this is working. I have tried several times with my GoPro to go live. It worked flawlessly for some reason with the one chip challenge live. But every time I've tried it, I've had so many difficulties. I go went live like two weeks ago, but it took several times for it to actually start working. So I'm hoping this stream will actually work this time. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Just uh, gonna make sure this is uh, working. But can you guys see this? Um, hold on for a sec. Thank you. All right, guys. Just make, I was just making sure this is working. It is working. So I guess I'm just gonna make Herbie a dish right now. Um, hold on. Let me set this up top here. Thank you. Right, I'm saying thank you. All right, so I got Herbie some cilantro. Actually, Herbie got some cut up, if you guys want to see this here. See that right there? Yep, it's just a little bit dish, but I definitely need more. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to make these live streams a regular thing. I do know that for a fact. I think this is too much cilantro. We'll see. These stems right here. Might cut up. I don't know. Maybe it's not too much. Just wanna say thank you guys for all the support lately. It's been, it's been amazing. Now you guys have seen me make Herbie dishes and stuff, but you know, I want to spread, I want to make more Herbie videos. I feel like there was a really long time where my channel was going away from Herbie and he's the whole reason I started this channel. I just wanted to post videos on the internet of my guinea pig. They're wholesome. They're just cute. They're fun. You know, they're not, they're not clickbaity. They're just cute, fun videos and relaxing. You know, there's just, the guinea pig videos are great. And if you have a guinea pig, I highly recommend making videos on your guinea pig. It, I think it's great for people. It shows people that don't have guinea pigs um, how cute they are. And it, guinea pigs are the one rodent that don't, they don't have the stigma that other rodents have. You know, rodents have the stigma that they're all dirty and nasty. and But guinea pigs, really, they're not like that. I really, they're not you know, what I think people think rodents are. When you when people hear the word rodent, they think of a nasty rat or something. And, but they can truly be adorable and guinea pigs really show that. Um, Kirby's really cute and I love him. I want to trade him for anything. So you guys may be saying, why the heck do I cut these stems separate from the cilantro leaves? Good question. And the really the reason is there's not really a good answer. It's more of just I don't know, just to make it a little bit more fancy, get those leaves off, put it in there, and then, you know, Herbie can eat the, uh, hit them separately if he feels like it. I don't know. I just kind of sometimes try to make it a little different, just do that. So next time we buy cilantro, we're going to start doing this a little bit different because what we've been doing for the longest time with cilantro is just putting it in the bag in the fridge, and it only lasts like five days. And we're like, this is really weird because... Partially should actually last only a week. Cilantro should, so excuse me, cilantro should last like a month if treated properly. 
And what we find out is that actually you're supposed to put them in like an inch of water, the stem of the slump in an inch of water. Okay, so like an amazing jar or like a cup or something like that, preferably glass. It doesn't really matter, but I guess they said to use glass preferably. And uh, I guess that just helps them so they last longer. If you do that properly, put it in the inch of water, it should last like a month. So uh, yeah, we'll have to start doing that for our next bag of cilantro. Herbie's favorite vegetable is cilantro without a doubt. He likes parsley, but we've tried several vegetables. He just loves cilantro. So anyways, I know cilantro talk, typical. If you're a guinea pig owner, you'd understand why I'm talking about cilantro so much. I know it's kind of weird, but. And Herbie is so excited, guys. If you guys can hear him, I'll show you him. Look at this cute guinea pig. Look at him. He's so cute. Is that right, Herbie? So squeaky. <laughs> Herbie. All right, guys. You guys get to see him a little bit after. Um, uh, get this all ready. Put you guys back up here. Don't really have this on a tripod or anything right now. Next thing I'm going to move on to, doesn't really matter, but I think I'll move on to these carrots. Got to use these carrots up. They're called match sticks. Special type of carrot that Herbie loves. Oh, yes, Herbie is very cute. <laughs> carrots aren't looking the best, but I don't think Herbie will mind. They're not gonna make them sick or anything. These carrots are definitely going bad though. I don't know if you guys heard earlier, if you guys, some of you guys are just going, but I really started this channel just because I wanted to post videos of my guinea pig on the internet. It's just because they're adorable, wholesome, great. I love Herbie. I really do. And I think I'm different than other people. Other people want to do gaming content. I'm not into gaming that much. It's not really my thing. Other people want to do reaction videos. And I, I like doing videos of my guinea pig. I know it's a different, there's other YouTube channels, uh, and big YouTube channels I watch and stuff, but it's kind of a more of a niche audience. It's more for people that either like guinea pigs or have guinea pigs. And that's okay because on my channel, The Anthony's, I, I'm i not focused on one piece of content. I don't just do videos on my guinea pig now. I do videos, you know, car informational videos, car commercial compilation videos. I do like cooking videos with my grandpa. I sometimes do cooking videos with my dad. I do like videos of Coco and Sky. I haven't really done those in a while. I should probably start doing more on Coco and Sky, but I did mainly start this channel on Herbie, but I've really expanded to many audiences. I've done travel vlogs. This channel has pretty much anything someone could want, I think. And say, well, someone's into this one thing, but they can't find what they're into. There's probably something else they're into they can find into this channel. So, got these carrots cut up like this. You can see right now. Um, looks cool, I guess. Um, shoot, I was ended the live stream there. I want to do that. Um, if anybody else is watching this, you can say hi in the live stream or the chat. You know what I mean? You know how to do that. I want to put this, um, in the bowl. I like how this dish is looking. Gonna cut up just a little bit more. Herbie's very excited. I just wanna say, guys, thank you so much for the support lately. I, yes, but I've really, really appreciated it. And sorry about this camera angle, but it's not the best. Sorry, it's a little boring to watch me cut up. I hope that's all right, though. And if anybody just joining the live stream, as you saw from the title, I am doing a live stream on making Herbie a dish. I don't plan on doing these live streams, like, every week, but I've started to do them a little bit more. I've only done, like, six now. Um, but I don't want to become a daily person that does videos on my guinea pig. 
But uh, I enjoy doing it. I think I will make these live streams on Herbie because he's so cute. And I want more of you guys to see Herbie live because I want to do shorts and stuff. Can't really have Herbie a lot in it a lot. And so, yeah. Got these carrots cut up. Uh, these are called matchsticks. If you have a guinea pig, if any of you guys watching this are guinea pig and Herbie is squeaky, he's very excited. Our guinea pig owners, I recommend these matchsticks carrots. What they are coming are like, these are like, it's kind of getting bad, but they're all right for Herbie. They, they're like these little sticks. And then I like to cut them up for Herbie. Sorry. <laughs> um, I can show you right now. Take my little knife and just cut them into little cubes. If you guys can see that right now. Like that. There we go. And sorry about this. Just trying to adjust. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to put this back into the bowl. One more thing I think I need to grab quickly for Herbie. Just going to set this right here. I'll show you guys what this looks like right now so you guys can see. This is what it looks like. It's got a nice, vibrant look. Look at how vibrant it is. All right, I'm going to switch the camera around. And then uh, if you guys don't mind, I'm just going to go grab Herbie some a little bit of cabbage. going to mute a little bit quick. All right, guys. Sorry, I just had to grab Herbie a little bit of cabbage quick. Here's what, here it is. Little leaf of cabbage. Hope you guys are enjoying this live stream. Make sure to like this live stream if you're enjoying it. All right, you guys want to see this? I'm just going to cut this up like this. I'm going to zoom into this. All right, I can zoom. Hopefully, I get this to work. Okay, you guys can see that now. So I'm cutting it up like this to little pieces. I just wanna say thank you for, even though there's not many people watching this, thanks for watching it. I really do appreciate the support. be good try not to take too long on this for you guys because i know it's not the most interesting thing to watch cabbage being cut but it's the process of making her be dish so you know we're live so it's not like i'm gonna stop live streaming to speed up the process Okay. Hopefully you guys can see how I'm doing this. I feel like I've become a pro at making Herbie dishes. Not all these cuts are perfect and I'm not really for perfection. guys now you can see it <laughs> um i'm gonna zoom out on this now we're gonna get the dish and cabbage is ready to top on top and it is ready for herbie this dish is looking nice put a little cilantro leaf in the middle and voila there's a little hair in there get that out all right Sorry about that. 
All right, you want to see it? Here's how his dish looks. Look at right now. It's looking good for Herbie. I think he's going to enjoy it. Add a nice little filter to it. All right, we'll go back to normal. All right, guys, I'm going to go feed this to Herbie so he can enjoy his dish. Herbie! Hey, buddy. Got a dish for you. gonna put this in his cage and Herbie he's going to enjoy his dish I'm sure he will look at him sorry the lighting isn't the best to do a quick little wipe off so you guys can see this better look at him he's loving his dish Herbie's adorable and I want to train him for anything I love him so much A little outline sketch. Look at him. Looking cute, right? All right, go back to normal for you guys so you guys can actually see him. And here's Sky. She loves to always go by Herbie. She's always curious about little Herbie. You can see him right now. She's chowing down to the dish. don't have my microphone connected right now so you guys can't really hear herbie amazingly i just hope you guys can understand of course and uh let me know in the live chat how is the audio sounding i'm hoping it's sounding it's sounding pretty good and to any of you guys that are curious herbie is He's going to be four years old this year. Wait, let me think. He got almost two. He's actually going to be five years old, actually. That's crazy. He's going to be five this year. I love Herbie. He's an amazing guinea pig. And, uh, yeah. All right, that's good. Audio is good. We got Herbie when he was two years old, and uh, I love him. He's an amazing guinea pig. He's so nice. You know, guinea pigs aren't generally known to be aggressive, but Herbie's just so nice. And I'll let you guys see some more of Herbie instead of me rambling about him. He's an American breed guinea pig. He has what I like to call this tri-coat fur color. He's got mainly black. He's got some white in the front and this beautiful orange up front. Hey, he's a really adorable guinea pig, and I love his colors. He's already chowing down this dish. Hold on, I'm just gonna make sure. Scott! What are you doing? Of course, you're acting like you're not doing anything. It's good. Not, hopefully, she's not doing much. Just gonna take a quick water sip. Don't mind. All right. Here's Herbie. Should probably fill up his pellets. That might not be a bad idea. I think his water does need filled. Let me fill his water. Oh, definitely need to fill his water. Hold on, guys. Got to fill his water. Sorry about the bad lighting. Hold on, I'm trying to light in here. He needs some uh, water. So I'm going to get that for him. Got the water running for him. So, make sure that's cold. So, 
gonna go uh, make sure it got his vitamin D drops. So we have these vitamin D drops to put in his water. Just because one time we noticed that his squeaking sounded a little off. And uh, interesting thing is, is that apparently you can actually tell if their squeaker sounds weird, it's probably because they're low on vitamin D. It was sounded really raspy and just unusual for Herbie. And so we figured he was low on vitamin D and we were not giving him vitamin D drops for like the first two years of his life in his water. So yeah, that's why squeaker sounded weird. And it's sounding better now and he's sounding very happy. He's popcorned uh, like two times uh, last week actually. So yeah, we got him some fresh water. Gonna put on his uh, water. No, you guys can't really see it from here. Just gonna get it on. Hopefully this works. All right, sorry about that. Uh -huh. Got his water on, he's got some fresh water now so he can enjoy it. Soak showering down on the dish. As you can see, I'm gonna get him some fresh pallets. As you can see, getting a little bit more empty than I'd like. Pellets are actually filled them up in here, sorry about that. Um, so I wanna show you one thing a little quick right now. Um, Herbie has, it's not how I want this, this will work. So Herbie has this little pellet container, you can see right here. You can get this at like Walmart or something. I believe Main Ways right here, that's like a Walmart brand. Anyways, this is containers like for dog food or something like they call it, or cereal, they call it a storage container, it doesn't really matter. But anyways, we store his pellets in this right at the top here. And we only buy the highest of uh, Timothy Hay products and our favorite. And the books Herbie's had is like his whole life. And that is Demore's Hay products, Timothy Hay. This is the advanced diet, Timothy Hay. We fill it up there. Um, don't really need to top it off. We just filled it up the other day. We don't really fill until it's like here, like completely empty. So yeah. Anyways, I'm going to put the lid back on. And so opens up from here, little thing at the top. And there's this other one on the other side. Takes out the lid completely. Anyway, okay, that, that goes off actually. It's not broken off. It snaps right on. I don't know if that was supposed to go off like that. It's all right. Yeah, it actually just kind of goes back on like that. So, anyways, let's fill this. I'm going to fill up his pellets. The thing. Popping up the things for little Herbie. I'm gonna place this back. It has a little box for Herbie. Store stuff in. It's from Believe. Yeah. Funny enough. This box we store in is for guinea pig products, care fresh, which is the paper bedding we use for him. So yeah. Now he's got some fresh pellets and he's enjoying them because he loves his pellets. Add a little filter, quick. Look at him. Back to normal. I hope you guys are finding this live stream interesting because I know some of you guys have left the stream and I'm sorry if this isn't the most interesting thing to watch, but I love doing live streams on Herbie and I love Herbie. So yeah, and look at that. Like a king, like a boss up on there. Look 
put it on. Loves eating his dish, uh, dishes. Uh, one quick thing I want to ask. Do you guys want to see more Herbie vlogs, more Herbie live streams? Because I'd gladly do more. Um, not going to make this an everyday thing, of course, or maybe not even a weekly thing. But it's interesting these live videos because I did the first one back uh, a little before New Year's Day. And uh, I enjoyed it. It went well. I did on my GoPro. I do think I prefer doing it on the phone like I'm doing right now. But... Yeah, let me know if you want to see more Herbie live streams like this and more Herbie videos. Also, thanks to, to all the support you guys have given me lately. I'm almost at 300 subscribers. 271, I believe, right now. And my goal is to get 300 before the end of the month. I should probably stop rambling before you guys leave. Because I know this is kind of getting boring. But I can see him right here. If you guys have any guinea pig questions, please feel free to ask them in the uh live chat i'd love to answer your guinea pig questions if you guys don't have any that's okay but oh. there he goes eating the pellets Loves his Timothy Hay pellets. And the dish is pretty much empty. You know what, guys? I'm going to close this for a sec. I just got to see Herbie. Um, and uh, going to ask you guys a couple questions. Uh, actually, before I start doing that, if anybody wants to see more of Herbie, let me know in the live chat before I start asking you guys some questions. Um, like just let me know in the live chat if you want to see more of Herbie, because I know you guys probably clicked on this to see my guinea pig Herbie. Um, and I put away his veggies. So I'm just going to put this away here. Or my dad want, needs some cilantro for cooking recipe. But, um, <laughs> sorry about that. I'll show you guys a little bit more of Herbie. All right, guys. You guys can see right here, this is Herbie. Um, is anybody... Uh, sorry, down to one person. Does anybody else have any questions or anything? Do you see in his dish right now? I think I'm going to go ask you guys the question I wanted to ask. So, I posted a YouTube community tab on the channel. Check that out if you guys want to see that. And I had some questions on there. On right now, but what the question was? Okay, it's on right now. What the question was? Out of uh, I have some options. You guys can go on the community tab and select, or I can just tell you the options. You can let me know in the excuse me the uh, chat. Excuse me, and the um, questions were: is which out of these um, martial compilations do you want to see? I'll have to make them, but click to see them and probably know where. Uh, more than five days from now and the the options are 2010s Ford commercial compilation so it'd just be mishmash of different 2010s Ford uh, model commercials not, not any specific Ford models but just from the 2010s okay sorry and the other options were a Ford Thunderbird commercial compilation part two I did one of those that was very successful I just want to say it was very cool to see some of your guys' um, people saying that they owned four Thunderbirds or have a four Thunderbird or had had memories from, like, having one. It was just really awesome. I even had someone say they were from Australia, and that was just really cool. 
And the other options were Chevrolet Corvette commercial compilation. Okay. And um, the last option was a 1980s Ford Mustang commercial compilation. And actually, the, that was the second to last. And then the last one was to do a Ford F-150 commercial compilation. Sorry, guys. I'm struggling a little bit with talking right now, just live. I'm going to recap it again for you guys. So your options were Ford commercial compilation 2010s. So just be 2010s Ford models. No specific, just Ford ads from the 2010s. Ford Thunderbird commercial compilation part two. Chevrolet corvette commercial compilation part two and you had a 1980s ford mustang commercial compilation option and ford f-150 commercial compilation and if you guys heard those um let me know in the live chat which of those you'd like to see i'd like to hear there's also if you go on the youtube channel community tab you can hit there so i can see which one you guys want to see most um i'll leave it up for a day and i'll see what options uh, get shows in the most from the community tab because we'll do a percentage and let me see what you guys want to see most I don't really care which out of those you guys want me to see I'll have to find some commercials and put them together for you guys to see but I guess I didn't really have a specific one I wanted to put up so I just wanted to know you guys opinion on that and another question I have for you guys is what other videos do you guys want to see do you guys want to see more Herbie videos car informational videos car commercial compilation videos let me know because I'd like to hear because I also am doing some of these videos because I enjoy them but really all the videos I'm suggesting for you guys who want to uh, giving out ideas or videos I'd also like to enjoy but I do plan on for my next video doing a car commercial compilation video just have to decide which of those it's going to be I'm um, sorry for rambling on right now I'll let you guys go see Herbie again just to give you guys a um, quick little update on Herbie. Haven't really got any um, people saying what they want to see for the commercial. That's a compilation. That's fine. But guys, go share them. I think I'm going to hop off soon because I know this is kind of getting boring for you guys probably. Um, I'm going to turn around the camera. Herbie is currently right now in his little cuddle sack thing, as you can see. He's very cute being Herbie and uh, being very cute. Hey, buddy. All right. Um, yeah. If you guys don't have any other questions or anything, I think I'm going to leave here very soon. But any last-minute questions or anything or anything you want to say, put them in the... Uh, live chat if you guys want to see a little bit more of herbie i can also do that i'd be willing to do that um so yeah any last minute request put him in the live chat i'd like to hear him doesn't look like we have any other people watching so i think i'm gonna hop off here soon guys um yeah thanks for watching this uh live stream i'll show you Herbie again to end this. Looks like he's eating his dish, but thanks for watching the live stream. I know this might have been a little bit wrong at some points, but this worked very well. This is my longest live stream. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, see you in the next live stream, whatever that is. Could be tonight, later. I don't know. I don't really plan on doing another one tonight, but uh, thanks for watching this live stream. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!